Shout out to the KJ family, rock with Kristen and Jamil. We're back, you guys, for another mukbang. Woo! But not just any mukbang. What? Tonight we were in the mood for Mr. Beast Burger, so. Uh -huh. So we got it. We placed an order. <laughs> we're really excited about it. Exactly. I uh, just got a few burgers and some loaded fries here. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to do part three of our Q&A. Yep. Uh, you guys asked us so many questions, so we have a lot more to say. Absolutely. Uh, so we'll be answering some questions as we're eating. Now, before we get into it, we do want to say, you guys, if you missed our lives yesterday, uh, we are officially, we officially have a merch page, you guys. Yes. It's knjmerch.com. Right now for this week, um, all the way till August 1st, 2022, uh, we are offering a 10% off discount. Mm -hmm. um, we'll put the info down below so you can see it, but it's KJPRE, P R E, 22. That's the code, discount code. To get the discount. For 10%. You guys definitely check out the merch page if you want to see mm -hmm. what we got. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've been working really hard on the merch, and exactly. I think you guys are going to love the designs. Yeah. So shop at knjmerch.com. Absolutely. Okay. All right, should we do this? Also, subscribe to our Date Night Slots channel on YouTube oh, and Facebook. If you right. haven't already, where we play fun slot machines, it's really a good time. So. Exactly. That's right. Okay. First off, my burger looks sad. So does mine. Yeah. It looks dry, and it's not even old. I swear we just put it out. Yeah, it's not. It's sad. It's not happy. It was supposed like... to have like, it only has like a few grilled onions. Man. Mr. Beast, come on, man. I know. <laughs> Last time we had it, it was good. This is the Carl. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's all right. You know what? Do we have ketchup? I think we do. Oh, you got it. Yeah, okay. I got it. No, it's good. I'm closest to the door. Oh, Lord. Okay, you guys, we got our ketchup. Thank you so much for getting that, babe. Yeah, no problem, but these burgers. Man, you guys, last time we got it, it was good. I mean, it's not bad. It's just nothing special. No, they suck this time. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to move this. Oh, okay. Move these boxes out of the way. We got chicken sandwich, so we're going to just split in half. And split it in half. And I'm already wanting to go for the chicken sandwich because this burger is not I know. the business. You guys, we were going to do chilies. We should do chilies. I know, we decided not to last minute. Oh, and then man. it was my idea to do this beast burger. Oh, man. <laughs> but, you know what? Mm -mm. Could be worse. No, it's a different kitchen, I swear, that made mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Last time, they hooked it up. It was very good. This chicken's over fried. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Sometimes you guys, it's hit or miss. It's definitely miss. I'm not gonna lie, this is almost inedible. Really? Oh, you yeah. gonna eat yours? Oh, excuse me. I can eat the burger. Okay. That's probably by the way. That chicken's really hard, like really hard. Um, and I can try the fries. And we don't know where this comes from, do we? No. So yeah, Mr. Beast does Ghost Kitchens. It's Ghost Kitchen. You have to order it on DoorDash, and. We have no idea. And when we first got it, it was really good. Oh, so it was very good. This is like almost it's cold too. This bacon. How long is, has this been sitting out? Jamal, this bacon is hectic. What is going on? We need our money back. Should we? Oh, a thousand. I mean, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> like a thousand. I'm not. Mm -mm. Yeah, do you mind if I do it really quick and ask for DoorDash to... Yeah. Because it's like literally inedible. Give us one second, guys. I got a partial payment back. I told them that this was just inedible, which it really is. It really... That chicken is hard. Yeah. And then I said something about this, but I'll... we But the burger we can tolerate. Mm-hmm. What about this? The Well, the bacon looks undercooked. At least that does to oh, me. Oh, it's undercooked. Well, this looks kind of... cooked. I don't know. It looks like... Oh no! This is so bad. Let me take a bite. I. Oh my! Oh, that is undercooked. Mr. Beast, it's not your fault. Oh, that's not even cooked. It's not right. No. Why? What did we do to them? What did we do to you guys at this kitchen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need to get something else. Well, I think we might. But you know what? We still got a Q and A. Those fries are disgusting. They're awful. 
Like, it's funny how we had such a good experience the first time. I know. This burger is not terrible. I know, but... It just tastes... It, you know what it tastes like? Microwaved. Mm -hmm. This food tastes like it's been microwaved mm -hmm. is what's going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know when burgers get, like, really hard? Mm -hmm. Like stale bread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And by the way... Unseasoned meat. I don't think we've had food this cold in a long time. Like yeah. it's, it's, it's very... Yeah. I don't know what's going on, but... Okay, I'm done. I can't do it. Okay. Well, you know what, guys? we got to play me. <laughs> we got a Q&A. Let's do a Q&A. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because, yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Does Mr. Beast Burger do this wrong? Man. But, you know, that's how it is. Mm. It is a ghost kitchen, meaning, you know, these random restaurants do it. I don't know if it's the same restaurants. It sounds like it's probably different restaurants. It is. It has to be. And, it's not the same kitchen as before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yep. That's what you never know with ghost kitchens. You don't know which one you're gonna get. Yeah, you never know. Whatever this one was, it was whack attack. Yeah, yeah, it really was. Okay. Okay. So, anyways. There you um, go. You got some questions? Yes. Okay. Okay. Part three of our Q and A. Aaron E J from Facebook says. What up? What is one thing you? What is one thing that annoys or irritates you about one another? <laughs> I like that. And then she asked a part two question. Mm -hmm. But let's answer the first one. What's one thing that annoys or irritates you about each other? It's good. You're going okay. there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Like a pet peeve or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Want to go for it? Ooh. Yeah, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. um, do you have one? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was fast. I got one. <laughs> it was very fast. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to hold on to this one. Okay. <laughs> okay, go. Hold on to this one. No. Yeah. Kristen loves, <laughs> loves to open drawers, but not close them. <laughs> but not close them at all. <laughs> so it's just open them and leave them just there. Just for... <laughs> like cabinets? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's like she needs teamwork. <laughs> she opens them, I got to close them. <laughs> I do leave them open a lot. So they're just I know. drawers and everything. It looks messy. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I think, messy. I want to say one time, one took out my shin. I like, because it was low. I your didn't shin, see it. you mean? Shin. Oh, your shin. No, it shed my shin. <laughs> you got you. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. No worries. Okay. okay. I'm not that mad at it. Oh, uh -huh. But that, I do feel like sometimes I'm like, man. Is it that hard? Okay, I'm going next. Okay, I'm going next. I'm going okay, next. Okay, you can do it. I will buy sodas for myself. <laughs> okay, I'll buy sodas for myself. Not this, though. And this I hold them. I say, you know what? I don't want them right now. I'm going to have it later. Maybe mm -hmm. in a week. Maybe two. Okay. And by the time I want the soda, <laughs> it's gone. It's not there. And if somehow it is there and, and it's like maybe a juice that is a multiple drink kind of juice... Yes. Got about this much left. <laughs> Just a little sip. Just a backwash and a backwash. It's a backwash. <laughs> Not backwash for me. So that's what irritates me. Okay, but to One my, thing about Jamil. I gotta say, to my defense, there are some sodas that Kristen bought. Mm -hmm. I have not drank them, I'm right? Not because she always to. nope, no, I haven't. Okay. I haven't right. Because I'm not a big fan of one, the ones you got. Okay. Mm -hmm. But they have been here for probably since <laughs> the second month we moved in here. No, are those that old? Yes, they've okay. been sitting there for a very long time. I'll drink them. So, but that's that's our <laughs> point. The point is sometimes well, we, Kristen no, won't drink them. But we lost them for a while. We didn't know where they were. So I you have to. Exactly you can't act like no. No, I don't know where they were. They were in the corner <laughs> and you first. Recently found them. No, but this is what happened. We I moved them in the corner of the when we first got them of the kitchen. Uh huh. They were there for a long time. Okay, I didn't see. Them. Then okay yes then I put them in the, in underneath in this like cupboard so uh -huh. I get it it was hard to find there but you never asked I did you never asked for them. and then I just recently brought them out put them on a refrigerator I, you know what I'm gonna drink it tonight I feel like a soda because <laughs> that's like a, it's one of that flavored water right yeah it is I'm gonna drink that tonight okay. it sounds really good okay. when we order something else got it okay okay, okay. Mm -hmm. should we keep actually we can do a whole video I know we I could. Could. <laughs> which we have before <laughs> maybe we should do that if you want to see pet peeves part two <laughs> let us know coming up okay here we go. Okay. Second part of Aaron's question is, yeah. and again, a lot of people ask this. 
Oh, okay. But I know we have a lot of new followers every day, so the ones yeah. that do know the answer, thank you for you know staying with us. But we do want to answer it because people don't know. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Do you want kids? Uh, and if so, are you waiting on a time? Are you mm-hmm. able to have children? If not, mm-hmm. do you plan on yeah. them or maybe adopt? You went yeah. in, Erin. Uh, I love questions. the curiosity. We don't mind it. We don't mind it all. She wants specifics. Yes. <laughs> That's what's up. Yes. Mm-hmm. To be honest, I you know, I'm probably I'm able to have children. I haven't yeah. tried. We haven't, yeah. I don't know. I've never been yeah. pregnant. Mm-hmm. But uh, mm-hmm. we've been very good at not letting one slip past the goalie. So <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I'm pretty sure I could. Uh-huh. Uh, but no, we just haven't wanted to and we're just not sure. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah, absolutely. I don't know. I know clock's ticking. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like if I do pass my biological age, mm-hmm. and it might be like, let's say it's like dangerous for me to have one, blah, blah, blah. I'm totally yeah. fine with adopting. We've talked about adopting, mm-hmm. worse comes to worse, if later on, if we feel like no. we really, you know, do we want to children, have or we, a job. Yeah, yeah, can't have them, or we yeah. just, you know, whatever it is. Exactly. So yeah, we're open to that. Um, yeah. But we just don't want to at the moment, and I don't know if we will. Yeah. And we're yeah. okay with that, so. Exactly, yep. Mm-hmm. Just one day at a time, essentially. That's what we're waiting for. Yeah. That's what we do, you know? That's what we do, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. There's a lot okay. of things we want to accomplish first. Before for sure. We, before we get there in life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Erin, for the question. Appreciate it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yoshiko, I'm glad yeah. you asked this one, and I'm surprised. Um, and I'm glad you asked, because I thought you might have uh-huh. known, but since you didn't, tells me that a lot of people might not know. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, how did you start out mukbanging? Deliberately or by accident? Okay, yeah. Great, we've talked about it. Yeah, I was one day at home and I accidentally recorded myself eating. <laughs> and I was like, this is cool. I was like, this is a beautiful man right <laughs> I was here. like... Yeah. <laughs> eating all this food. I was like, I should bring Kristen in on this. <laughs> and then we became a channel. No. <laughs> Do you want to say it? Well, there's a couple... Yeah. yeah. Okay, then we... Uh, you say it. Yeah, well, pretty much... a couple, couple step process. Like, yeah, for, for the most part, you know, we really came across B Love's channel. Mm-hmm. Um, and she really inspired us, actually. We really liked her videos. A lot of the stuff she was saying... Um, she was enjoying it, having a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, so then we decided, we were like, we could do this. <laughs> we could, you know, we love eating, we love talking. And uh, yeah, and then we decided to kind of put the channel together. Am I missing something? Yeah, B Love mm-hmm. was the second step. We actually found That's a true. different person first. That's true. Yeah. And she was like super inspirational and was like, you can do anything you want, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. Um, and we were like, we can do anything exactly. we want. And we're like, you know, we love to eat. We like to talk. Da, da, da. Yeah. And then we came across Beloved, who like did some videos uh-huh. about like how much money she made. And, yeah, and I was yeah. like, you can make a lot of money. And mm-hmm. then, you know, we we're like, okay, like, well, this would be fun to like have this as like a, exactly you know, a, a career or like a side gig at least. And then if it grew, yep. um, we would be happy with that, you know? For sure. For sure. We had other jobs before and, um, yeah, like I love the field I am. I'm in the therapy field. I love that. But I was working yeah. for people before this. Mm-hmm. And it's just rough when you work for other people. I'm totally fine being on my own and that's cool. Yeah. Um, but I love the fact that I can be with Jamil and do yeah. um, a job These with videos. him. So it totally fit with us. For sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. That sounds right. So great question. Mm-hmm. Shout out to you, Shiko. Thank you so much for the question. Yeah. And we are doing this full time, uh, but we have side gigs as needed. Yeah, as exactly. That's exactly right. Um, okay. okay, and then uh, she also asked, and again, uh-huh. uh, how did you how did you meet? Was it love at first sight <laughs> or indifferent at first sight? Yeah, uh, we met in high school, of course. Uh, in contemporary world English, is that what it was? World issues. That's stupid class. G <laughs> got a D. I hated the teacher. No, G got a D. I was cool with the teacher until he. Flag me for plagiarizing yeah. or something, and which I did, I did do. And I did the same thing. And, I, yeah. I plagiarized and didn't get in trouble. Yeah, but I did. Yeah, it's actually kind of messed up. The, yeah, I, it's really messed up, actually. Do we still hold Yeah, it's really not cool. It was That's messed up. How come I get in trouble? Mm-hmm. You, We both plagiarized. I felt really bad. And he gives me the F. And this is a diff- completely different assignments, different time periods, everything. There were two different assignments. Yes. And he's my teacher's like, you didn't mean to do that, did you? And I was like, no, not at yeah. all. I didn't mean to. And he assumed I did. I didn't mean to do it at all either. I actually was trying to make a good paper, yeah. but I was. what happens is, you know, I was going sentence by sentence and stuff like that, and I guess I was way too close to some of the stuff. And Yeah. yeah. It's messed up. It is, it is messed up. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. It's weird. And you were so nice. Uh, you know what? He wasn't vibing with you. I don't know what it was. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Anyway, so. But, yeah. anyways, that's how we met in that class, right? Yeah. And I say, like, was oh. it love at first sight? Yeah. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say, like. Yeah. 
I don't I don't quite believe in love at first sight. Uh-huh. I don't believe in that. I believe yeah. that there's attraction yes. and infatuation and like you really Lust. excited about the person. Yeah. Oh, yes. like <laughs> but but definitely um mm. attraction at first sight for sure. Really? And then, yeah. Did you think it was hot? No, I was talking to myself. I was attracted <laughs> to myself <laughs> and, how, and how I was interacting with you. And I, was, I was just joking. Yeah, no, of course. Of course it was. You did? Yeah. You liked it? Uh, clearly. Did, really? Well, it's not clearly. You could have noticed later. No, like, Did you notice course. the first day? Yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, of course. I know. It was the second day, actually. <laughs> okay. Now I know I noticed the first day. I just like him to say it. You got it. What'd you notice? Why are we gotta go here? You never want to talk to detail. You never want to talk to details. It's obviously I was attracted to how you looked. You mm-hmm, know, mm-hmm. I mean, my body. Well, I didn't know you. So. <laughs> was my face? Was I really like the face? Yeah, I liked your face. I liked your whole body. Okay, I liked good. everything. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> I like making it feel like that. What else? Is your kneecaps? <laughs> so you got your kneecaps. That would turn you on. So attractive. <laughs> <laughs> and Jamil, I remember I noticed his smile. He had a very oh. good smile. I, know, I loved his hair at you the got time. Specifics. Yes, yeah. uh, your smile was beautiful. Thank Still you. is. You had cute hair. It was like these twisties. Thank you. Um, and then you were so nice. Yeah, so thank you. Like a I appreciate three that. Things. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, and then we just got to know each other. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's exactly right. Yeah. No, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely say, um, yeah, not maybe love at first sight, but soon after for sure. Mm-hmm. I'd say soon after. Totally, totally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good question though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally good question. Meanwhile, oh. this thing is a rock. <laughs> this had to have been microwaved. I know. Here, hit it against the. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Jane Boast, oh, shout out to you. <laughs> she says, I love your relationship between you both. It's so uh, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank How you do you much. keep it so real? You can see the love you have for each other. Aww, I thank you so much. That. In each video, it's yeah. amazing. So glad Jamil is feeling better. Number one fan. Thank ah, you so much. Thanks, Jane. Really appreciate that question, actually. Yeah. Um, you want to start? Sure. Go ahead. How do you keep so I love the relationship? How do you keep it so real? Yeah. Um I think if I'm really going to go there, I just yeah. feel like mm-hmm. um, we're, we're never just the type. You know how like, the, okay, well, okay. So you know how yeah. there's like types of people that maybe like play games mm-hmm. or maybe try to like act a different way than they really are. I feel like Jamil and I never really did that. We were always, you know, we were young, right? So maybe yeah. we didn't have like many defenses up or yeah. whatever, but mm-hmm. we were just like ourselves. Yeah. And I think we also... Connected with like just like liking to like you know make jokes and smile, mm-hmm. so we like add that connection. True. But I think we just always were, you know, just enjoying being ourselves and didn't need to uh, act like we weren't. I'm not yeah. saying like I wasn't trying to impress him in, other, in certain ways, you know. But no, I know what you mean. Not sense, but like to the yeah. core essence of things, when we were yeah. talking, it was always like who we were. Exactly. You know? We didn't have to. Yeah, and I think. A big part of it is because we met in high school mm-hmm. and we were just being ourselves. We didn't have these, like you said, these defenses mm-hmm. and things like that. And I think, and, and but then a lot of times, sometimes it fades, right? For a lot of people, I think over the years they grow apart. Mm-hmm. I think one of the things for us is we actually made a very conscious decision to grow together. Mm-hmm. You know, whether that was, you know, I think at some point, uh, we wanted to move to LA. I wanted to move to LA. Kristen moved with me, and we kind of did everything together. You know, mm-hmm. we grew together. I think that's actually a really big part of why we we gel so well because because of that we have a lot of this similar likes and dislikes. Yeah, you know? we were willing to like yeah. do things for our relationship was super important to us. It mm-hmm. still is, and we were willing to make decisions. Yeah, and put our relationship at the forefront. I was gonna yeah. go away to college. Oh, I remember. Yeah. That's right. And Jamil was gonna move with yeah. me. And uh, I never, I didn't end up going away, but he would have, you yeah. know, uh, moved mm-hmm. with me. So that was like really sweet. So that's right. yeah. Anyways, yeah, we just that's who we are, I guess. I don't yeah. know, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But thank you for the question. It was a really good question. Yeah. Great question. Uh huh. And I think it's super important to be honest in relationships. We oh, both yeah. 
You know, obviously sure. where we were, you know, when you're younger, you love yeah. things here and there. Things happen, right? For sure, yeah. Um, but, oh, but especially, like, as we got older, you mm-hmm. know, it was super important to be, like, honest, respectful, yeah. good communication. So we For just sure. have core values that we stick to in a relationship. And yeah. It's been working. That's true. Yeah, it's a good point. 20 years strong, baby. Exactly. Yay! Crazy. 20 plus. Yeah. It's crazy. It is crazy <clears throat> when you think about it. Great question, Mel. Thank you. Totally. Okay. Paul Smith, are you going to be doing a meet and greet in Vegas? Oh, yeah. okay. We talked about this earlier this year, actually. That was one of the things that we talked about doing was a, some sort of like meet and greet. Mm-hmm. Something small, nothing too big. But just because it's been a little bit more difficult to kind of get, I would say it's it's been a little hard for us to kind of get on our Footing, if that makes sense, out here. It's mm-hmm. it's kind of been tough because, you know, families come out to visit. We've been trying to knock out videos. There's been a lot of things that made it a little difficult. So if we do it, if we do it, in my opinion, and we haven't really discussed it since because mm-hmm. we're supposed to do it kind of earlier in the year, mm-hmm. I would like to do it maybe more towards October when it gets a little cooler. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what we're thinking. And I'm thinking at least. So I'm not 100% sure, but we might do it. We really might do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why being cooler is important. We could just go inside in the AC. Well, yeah, but in case you want to meet outside, I don't (laughs) know. I know, I I know. I guess you're right. Yeah, I know. I thought about that. Just, yeah, we do feel like since we've been here, it's just we've hit the ground running. We're not as organized as we want to be. Yeah. But yes, do we want to do a meet and greet in Vegas? We We absolutely do. We want to. We just don't know when it's going to be. But yes, we really do want to. And if we don't, for whatever reason, if we can't do it this year, we will do definitely to be doing it next year early on in the year for sure yeah so we're definitely going to do it at some point and we're definitely. sorry that we're dropping the ball on the meeting yeah but we do want to do one yeah it's been pretty bad really yeah we were supposed to do it early on but anyways that's another story I know story. we can't kick ourselves <laughs> but just know we want to yeah for sure and so it is in our forefront in our mind and mm-hmm. trying to make that happen absolutely yes yeah, so thanks for being patient with us exactly thank you so mad about this uh, chicken sandwich I know I know. It's like a brick. I know. What are you trying to do? The fries. Okay. Garbage. (laughs) Rosie says, (laughs) do you do your own admin? I don't know. And then do you have special editing equipment to help you with your processes? Oh, okay. Great question, Rosie. Mackenzie. Thank you. Um, The admin aspect, do we do our own admin? I don't really understand that question. Yeah. But, but the answer is probably yes. Yes, because it's just the two of us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess so. Yeah, whatever the, the question is. As far as editing goes, um, we do use, I do all the editing right now. I do Adobe Premiere. Um, I know there, and then we use from time to time a website called Video Hive, mm-hmm. um, where I'll put in little small. I don't know, music or effects as needed and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's probably the only thing that we really, really, yeah, it's really use. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't use Adobe, um, what is it, um, uh, effects, Adobe effects. I used to use it for other things, but I've never really used it for this channel because it's just, it's a lot to kind of throw effects and stuff like that in the videos, you know, mm-hmm. but maybe one day. But yeah, just Adobe Premiere. And then back to the admin thing. Yeah, the admin thing, I'm not 100% sure exactly what you mean as far as like admin on like, you know, someone help us on Facebook and YouTube. We do actually have uh, Aaron, which is one of our supporters that helps us out from time to time. Yes. Shout out to you, Aaron. Shout out to you, Aaron. We appreciate you. A lot, definitely. So she helps us from here and there and it's exactly. super nice. But mainly it is me and Jamil doing the majority mm-hmm. of like admin stuff. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's right, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But um... Yeah, yeah, that's about it, I think, with the video stuff. Julie Culpepper, shout out to you. What up, Julie? Yes. She's so sweet. She she said, P.S., if we could all send $20 or more to you, it would add up and would help you. Where would we send it? Aw, thank you. (laughs) Julie, you're so sweet. We appreciate Um, that. Yes, we're going to get a P.O. box, Uh so... Um, definitely wait for that. I'm hoping this week we can just sign up for one and get yeah. a PO box. Uh-huh. Um, in the meantime, we do have a Cash App. Yeah. Cash App, Kristen and Jamil. 
for sure. Or PayPal, Kristen and Jamil at gmail.com. Exactly. And yeah. any donations are always appreciated and they always go to uh, food, you know, for our mukbangs. Absolutely. Yeah. But, you know, we like to tell people, oh, like, yes. you never feel like you ever have to throw any money in there or never, anything like that. Never. We don't uh, want to pressure anybody. Exactly. We just appreciate you guys hanging with us and watching our videos. And, you know, people come up and like, oh, I'm so sorry. I can't be a supporter. Oh, I really yeah, wish I could okay. pay for the monthly membership, which is yeah. $5 a month. You know, they apologize to us and that they can't afford it. Please yeah. don't ever, yeah. ever feel like you have mm -hmm. to apologize for not being the monthly member. It's totally fine. It's only for yeah. people who can and are able to and want to. Exactly. No worries. Exactly. That's yeah. right. Like I said, as long as you guys are watching and having fun with us, that means the most to us. Yes, you know, it does. That really does. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, just wanted to say that too. Cool. Connie Lachowski. What's up, Connie? Says, what is something Kristen loves to eat but Jamil doesn't? <laughs> Ooh. That's a good question. Okay, yeah. Um, I think that's kind of tricky because for the most part... You're not too picky. I'm not too picky. It's tricky because you're not picky. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean... I like... I would eat sushi way more. Yeah, yeah. If it wasn't for Jamil. I think Jamil blocks me on sushi. Yeah, probably. More than... Yeah, he still eats it. I mean, don't get me wrong. But yeah. when I eat it... <coughs> when I eat it once a week at least... Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I, I've just had it too much. I mean, we've had a lot of sushi There's over the There's different kinds, though. Do you want to expand I your horizon? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, it's really probably been the last, like... Two years where I've been kind of like, I'm tired, I'm over sushi. Yeah, a you've bit. eaten it. You've eaten We've it. We've had way years. too much of it. Like 14 years. Yes. Okay, so, you're just so I'm just kind of, I'm kind of over it right now. That's really what it is. Maybe I'll be back, you know, but, mm -hmm. but I think that's the one thing I would say mm -hmm. you want to eat a lot, and then me, I'm just not always yeah. feeling it. You know, I love sushi. Yeah. But just, I don't know, just recently I haven't really been feeling it. Totally. You know? Yeah. Um, let's reverse that question too, just for okay. fun. Yeah. What's something that Jamil loves to eat but Kristen doesn't? Yeah. Um uh, nothing comes to mind off the bat. Yeah. Oh well there's things. There's things that I like actually. Is there? Yeah, little small things like I love dates. You don't like dates. Yeah. You don't really like that. I at don't all, mind right? them. I'm I mean, just no. not gonna eat them. You don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal doesn't like it. I don't think you really like it. Yeah, not for fun. I don't know. It's okay. like, yes, it's not a go-to. Are they okay? Sure. But yeah. again, it's a dried fruit. Yeah. I don't like dried fruits. Eh, so. I know, but it's a really good dried fruit. Yes. It's I a don't. really good one. No. Yeah. I hear you, though. So that's what it is. Yes. I hear you. That's true. I don't like dates. Yeah. I think. Yeah, maybe there are certain like snack things. You yeah, he likes lots things. of nuts. Yeah, you I feel know, like I'm really, not a nut girl. Like I love pistachios. I mean, a lot of pistachios. I like pistachios, but I just don't go to them. For yeah. Snacks. So yeah. yeah, makes sense. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that's true. I would definitely say the dates, though. He likes um, that's the one thing. orange sodas. Oh yeah. I don't like orange sodas. You don't like that? Mm -hmm. Or grape sodas. I love grape sodas. Yeah. You don't like that? <laughs> no, not at all. Okay. Uh huh. Cool. Oh, uh, Old School Soul Food, shout out to you. Hey, what's up? We have to connect with you. I know. You got to let us know when you're coming back out here too, by the way. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, he says, I have a question. When are okay. y'all going to do Las Vegas live stream walking on the strip? Oh, I love when yeah. individuals walk on the Las Vegas strip live. Yes. That will be coming soon. We yeah. definitely did one or maybe two so far or maybe even three we've done a few of them going down just walking down you know one or two parts of uh somewhere on the strip we haven't walked the whole thing of course but we definitely will be doing more of those through the months we haven't actually done any lives in a while we did the live of course yesterday but really we haven't done them recently as much as we'd like to but the more we do them the more we will actually have some walk in vegas uh ones so for sure soon Definitely. So. My excuse, and I yeah. think it is a good excuse, is I would like yeah. to walk like on the strip, on the street. Yeah. It's so hot. hot. It's been hot since like June 1st. So yeah. it's like well over 100 degrees at night. So that's kind of yeah. crazy. So yes, For we sure. could stay in a hotel and do some walking, which yeah. I think until it cools off, we'll probably do that. But that's part of the reason. Yeah. Because I've been wanting to, I've been like, oh, let's go live on strip. And then I'm like, oh gosh. It's too heat. hot. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. We did do, um, we walked through the Bellagio, I think one day we did a video through that. So we could do something like that again. Yeah. We could, you know, in the, in the meantime, until it cools off a little bit, you know? Totally. Walking through the hotels because there's some really nice ones. Mm -hmm. Really nice ones. Mm -hmm. Cool. 
Right on for the question, Jeff. We appreciate that. Uh, yeah, appreciate for that. sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, Leah Dugger, Dow, Dowgard. Shout uh, out to you. What's up? My only question is, uh-huh. I was a supporter and now I'm not. Oh, okay. You people mm-hmm. can be extremely rude. I found I didn't even read how to invent this one. Did <laughs> you? Like, oh. No, I didn't. I found you during COVID shutdown and continually followed you until... Um, mm-hmm. she got shot on. I don't know what that means. Not cool at all. Okay. Rude. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with your page. Still love you both. Uh, but some of your followers have major issues. Oh, oh. your people can be rude. Oh, okay. I see well, I'm you sorry know. you. I'm sorry you got yeah. um had a bad experience essentially. Yeah, you know? for sure. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I definitely would say you know everyone kind of has their own. I thought it was us at first. I was like, we're rude. Yeah, <laughs> like, right. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, obviously, <laughs> you know, we can't monitor unfortunately every conversation. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know, we're sorry to hear that you definitely had a bad experience and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. But, you know, we, we appreciate still the support, you know, that you did give us and stuff like that. And, you know, don't feel like you have to comment if you just want to just watch. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you could always just do that. You can totally. always message us privately, too, anytime. Yeah, and totally. chat with us there, too. Yeah, totally. So yeah. We're, we are very sorry about yeah. that experience. Yeah, for sure. And but, we know that you've been yeah. rocking with us for a while, and we really appreciate that. So exactly. Thank you for being brave enough to bring this up. Yeah. We appreciate that. Okay. Jen Recker, shout out to you. What up, Jen? If you weren't mm-hmm. married to each other <laughs> and you can be married to any celebrity okay any celebrity who would it be and why oh that's a good question um any celebrity wow that's a great question it's so yes it's so good yeah um I mean I you know it's funny like I used to have a lot of celebrities that like had like crushes on but over the years, I just, like, the crushes kind of, like, have kind of gone away, you mm-hmm, know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So back in the day, it used yeah. to be, like, you know, who would I want to know yeah. the most? Yeah. But now that I'm older, I really, I'm yeah. about, like, somebody to treat you so well. Yeah, for sure. But I also want good looks. So mm-hmm. basically, like, who, who I think is one of the best celebrity husbands. Well, yeah, we were... We talked about this already. Flav of Flav. <laughs> you love Flav of Flav. <laughs> He's the number one guy in the list. So annoying. <laughs> one of the best celebrity oh. husbands out there is John Legend. Like, for oh. sure. I love men who love yeah. their wives and okay. aren't afraid to show it. And you can tell, like, yeah. hella are, are hella respectful and sweet. Got so it. I want to go with John Legend, but I'm just not as attracted to him. So comment down below if there's a super hot celebrity yeah. out there. That's really good to their spouse. Yeah, yeah. Because that's who I would pick. Got it, got it. Okay. Yeah. I, okay, so for me, <laughs> I, it, this is hard because my go-to years ago, mm-hmm. not now, it used to be Kim Kardashian. Yep. Kim was the the, the one, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. She's but cool. She, uh, I don't know about that. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I, I wonder, I you know? know? Yeah. But she's just not like, she just doesn't have the look. That I'm looking for. She doesn't do it for, for <laughs> anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a that's a, a real hard one. But you know what? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do a little bit of a cop out. Okay. No, but see, I can't even do that one. Okay. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say Kindle. Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah. But so. see, this but it's a cop out because <laughs> the reason why I was gonna say is because I'm like, well, let me keep it in the family. If it's not Kim, who else? <laughs> and like Kindle seems normal. Yeah. But I don't. I'm not attracted to her at right. all. So it doesn't work. <laughs> so it doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> I can't answer the question right now. I'm so sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I think of it, if I think of it in a little bit, I definitely will answer. Okay, it. yeah. So, and I'm sad that I don't have one yeah. either. Like, yeah. do you know? Well, what? You said John Legend. Yeah, right? but I need somebody. You know, just with more like. Yeah. So, like you know, Jason Momoa, for example. Mm. Um, I know he was with. What's her name? For like a long time. I think they yeah. recently broke up. But I don't 100% know how he treated her like, mm. you know, on the DL. You know? So he's super cute. Yeah. But I need like somebody who's like really like in. Yeah. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. No, I see what you're saying. Um, Sierra, uh, Sierra's. Russell. Uh, Russell um, Wilson. Wilson. Another guy. Total yeah. family <laughs> man. But he's not cute to me. So. <laughs> anyway. So. And that's how I'm going yeah. for that now. You need somebody to treat you right. Got it. That's true. Yeah. It's very true. And it was hot. <laughs> I'm the best one. It's you, babe. You're the celebrity. You got lucky with me. I did. 
got to. I did get lucky. <laughs> okay, maybe one more? Yeah, let's do one more. Okay. Mm-hmm. You guys are so funny with these questions. <laughs> that was a good question. Yeah. I'm going to try to think about that answer, by the way. Ooh, this is good. Okay, okay I like this one. Okay. Uh, Britt Simmons McClure, shout out to you. What up? Okay, she said, mm-hmm. if you were hosting a dinner party to impress, Okay. What would be your signature dish that you would prepare for your guests? Ooh. Okay. I like that question. I love that. Okay. okay so if I'm owning, hosting a party. Yeah. And I'm impressing. What am I making? I, I already know what I'm making. You do? Yep. Yep. I know what I'm making. Okay. I'm going to make some sort of pasta dish. Some like That's really. That's what I wanted to make. Well, okay, okay. <laughs> no, no, you, well, you can, can make, make the pasta dish. Okay, no, 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 you can make it go. Okay, you make the pasta dish. <laughs> okay. I'm making a pizza. <laughs> I'm going to make a really good okay. thin crust. You have yet to make a really great pizza. I've never made pizza ever. <laughs> <laughs> but I've never done a dinner date either. Or dinner, uh, <laughs> a dinner host, yeah. We've hosted hella, but we never make our own food. We always buy it. Oh, always. Yeah. Frozen That's probably stuff. what I would do is buy something and act like it was that I made. For sure. <laughs> If I'm really going to make it? Okay, so yeah. you want to try pizza? Oh, yeah. I'd make a pizza. Okay. I tried to make a... I tried to roll a dough in a pizza one time. It didn't work. I didn't know how to do it. Mm-hmm. So that was the only attempt that I did with a pizza. But I feel like with enough practice, I can make a really good pizza. Yeah. I think I could. Okay, yeah. So I, I think, would do a pizza. Yeah. I would do that. I would want to make, uh-huh. like... I I feel like I'm going to... Like baked casserole dishes. So you're not gonna do a pasta? No, it is. It's gonna be pasta oh. with like cheese and like Ooh. you know like meats and just mm. gooey stuff and a casserole dish. Okay. Hella flavorful. That sounds pretty some good. Kind. I don't have. I don't know exactly. And then for desserts, yes, I, I would definitely make some like brownies, mm. some gooey fudge brownies, or some like really soft chocolate chip cookies. That sounds good. Actually, I would do. Uh, I would actually do a cheesecake. Okay. I would do a cheesecake. Yes, that'd be good. I, I, I'm not a... I like certain cheesecakes. Yeah. Some, some are just too rich. Yeah. But I would make a really good cheesecake, which I've made before. Yeah. Right? A yeah. while back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Made like a blueberry cheesecake. You did. It was really, really good. good. Was oh, and a salad. I love to make the salad with the mixed oh. greens and the strawberries <laughs> the and the goat cheese and the candied walnuts <laughs> with the <laughs> raspberry <laughs> vinaigrette dressing. <laughs> so that's... And that's what we're... I the salad I know how to make. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what it would be having. We wouldn't be having Mr. Beast Burger. That's right, yeah. We wouldn't be ordering this. Definitely <laughs> wouldn't be ordering this, no. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much for the questions, though. This was Yeah, fun. that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, well, thank you guys again. Uh, once again, our merch is up. Uh, KNJmerch.com. Uh, once again, the pre-sale is going on for this whole week. Uh, today is Monday. It's going to be ending next Sunday at midnight or actually next Monday at in the AM. August 1st. August 1st, yes. <laughs> um, KJPRE22 for 10% off. So take a Absolutely. look at our and see if you like anything. For sure. And yeah. once again, you guys check out Day Night Slots as well. That's our gambling channel. Uh, if you're interested in seeing us play some slots, you can go and check it out there. Yeah. Okay, you guys. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Sharing is caring. Let your friends know what the Kate and JFM are doing. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night. Whatever time it is out there, we will see you in our next video. Mm. Ah, peace out, Charles.